Hey guys, Video Fletcher, and this is Ranked Execution um, Old Town 18 to 2 gameplay. Most people would put that as a as a TDM commentary 18 to 2. Um, I tried to go one better. Um, there's no point putting out average content. 18 to 2 Ranked Execution. Hopefully you enjoy. I said I'd put out a Stay Frosty commentary, um, but the thing is, Stay Frosty gameplay, even when you do well, is isn't the most interesting. Um, I played two games today. I went 27 and 1. And I think it was something like 19 and 2. So, you know, I was pretty pleased with those scores. And the more I've been playing it, the more I've been enjoying it, which may shock some of you. But also, the more flaws it brings out in the game. But at the same time, it, it makes it enjoyable. And I honestly think it should stay. Um, a lot of people may hate it, but I think you need to give it a chance, you know. The, my sort of mentality for games is, if I'm in the mood, I'll play it. If not, I'm not going to play it. It's as simple as that. You know, I have Battlefield 3 and Skyrim on PC, and I'm only level 5 on Battlefield, and the reason is because when I first bought it, I played the campaign, and I played some online and ranked up and I enjoyed it, but I, I don't fancy playing it, so I'm not going to force myself to play it. So with Call of Duty, and you're going to hear me reference Call of Duty a bit, because that's that's basically what they're trying to do here. They're trying to get that game mode where it's fast kills, um, you know, the co the constant stream of kills, the reward for the kills, um, but also el adding the tactical element of the cover. It really does enhance the cover system, but also brings out its flaws. Um, so, th the way I see it is it's sort of like a Call of Duty Zombies mode. So, if, if I'm in the mood to play Call of Duty, um, I have three mentalities, it's either going to be, you know, I just want to chill out, I just want to sit back and camp, you know, sometimes I just want to sit back and camp, I can't be bothered dealing with people rushing at me face to face, I just want to pick them off and just try to rack up a decent score, and honestly let the kill streaks do the work and all that stuff. Um, other times I want to rush out there, I want to play search and destroy, I want to rack up those kills, I want to snipe people, you know, I want to be aggressive and I want to entertain. So, and then there's a third one where it's, I, do, I just want to have fun on the game, you know, I'll do anything, I'll run about with a riot shield, or I'll play zombies, and this mode for me is, is like that, um, you'll, well, if you're in a party chat with me, or you've added me, you'll hear me say, oh, I fancy some Stay Frosty, do you want to play that? And some people say, nah, I'm not in the mood for it, and I'll say, alright, then I'll play it on my own, because it's one of those game modes that you can play on your own. It is hard to win. But, um, you know, you can get a good score. And I'm sure when people are playing on their own, they're not expecting to win. They just want to get a good score. And with it being such such kind of easy kills, one-shot headshots, and easy hammer burst kills, you can do that. You can get a good score on your own, which is why I'm sure people will keep coming back to it. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of, th that's the way I see it. If you're in the mood for Stay Frosty and you want to sit back and you want to play like that, you can enjoy it, you know. I've played that game mode for like two hours straight and I enjoyed it and then something clicks and I'm like, nah, I'm not enjoying this anymore. Um, let's go play some Execution because although I like the game mode and it's interesting and it's completely different, that's one of the reasons it's going to be a success, I think, if it stays, is because it's different. Um, the most successful weekend playlists are the ones that not not change what guns in your hand, it, it changes the mechanics of the games and it makes it fresh. Um, Brothers to the End playlist works because it's two people and you're in a tight unit and people enjoy that. It's different. You know, you're not spawning with a boom shot and a sniper, you're actually changing the way the mechanics of the games works and it's fresh and it's interesting. So, you know, this has changed it completely. If you're in the mood to sit back and, you know, just pick off some people and just work as a little unit, you know, set up a spawn trap if you want, because that's kind of what you do in Stay Frosty, and, you know, and just get some easy wins and easy XP, then, it, then it's good. If you're not in that mood, you don't have to play it, and that's the idea of a playlist, you know. Halo Reach has uh, Infection. It's nothing like Halo, and I play that. If I'm in the mood to just chill out in Halo, I'll play some Griff Ball or some Infection. Now I know the Stay Frost isn't as fun as them. That's just the way the game works. You can't, you can't go adding loads of stuff into it. You've still got to have the core gameplay for the fans. Um, but it does change it, and it is interesting. So, you know, I could, I could go on about 
stay frosty um, for a little while longer. But I think I think that's all I wanted to say. So overall, I'm in, I'm enjoying stay frosty. I think it should stay. Should it have pushed execution and warzone to the same playlist? I don't think so. To be honest, you know, capture the leader. I'd rather have seen capture the leader that go, or it maybe even alpha. Um, that may shock some of you because I said that I don't want alpha execution to go. But at the same time, you know, the people, the people that use the sword off in in normal execution are the same type of people that will go into alpha and pick it up until they completely remove the sword off then there's not much really a game type can do for you if the gun's still in the game so stay frosty for me is fun if you're in that mood it's really entertaining that guy kills me with a sword off as I was just talking about it you notice there's quite a lot of them using sword offs and I'm trying to dodge them and it's beat this was uh, beats by Dr. Bob's one of his first games on on uh, gears so if you've seen him a little bit shaky that's why uh, he's not this bad anymore <laughs> he was pretty terrible but yeah stay frosty should should stay I think I think that's my overall opinion I've played quite a lot of it now playing playing as a team it's fun and it's quick and it's easy wins there are there are still not a lot of people playing ranked or quick match, so loading times are fast, uh, slow. So sometimes we play quick match, and against bots, it is boring. And uh, the mechanics that I said, um, you know, it it kind of highlights some glitches are the fact you can shoot through walls on pretty much every single wall you can shoot through. Um, you know, if you want me to do a video on that, because I can shoot through every single wall, it's pretty much bullshit. But there's a way to do it. Um, and I think Fad gets pretty pissed off with the uh, sword off kills here, as anybody would. But the cover system, you know, sometimes when you mantle kick in, and um, this isn't particularly in Stay Frosty, it's just in general, you levitate in the air and it doesn't work. In the beta, it worked. I don't understand why it was changed. And the final thing I'd like to say about little glitches about cover, or in general, and I made that guy leave, which is pretty funny because he got. Uh, destroyed is I'm sure many of you have seen it is the glitch where you scope down the hammer burst or the sniper and you you just look at the floor epic have now responded to that the programmer Joe Graf, um has responded and said that was intentionally put in um, I, I don't think I buy that um, you know may, it makes sense His, the theory is that you can't if you can get an angle whilst not scoped in then you shouldn't be able to get that angle while scoped in at certain positions, but I mean, there's there's no way that that when you're scoped in at gridlock sniper, when you're scoped in, that, that you should kind of you be able to no scope with a sniper at down at grenades. But then when you hit the scope button, that it aims at the floor. There's no way that should happen. And if it is intentional, that means they can remove it, and it should be removed because there are lots of blocks where you can aim out fully and you can get a no scope off but when you scope in your head is still fully out so technically your character has vision his gun still stuck out so if you're doing it off a character model his head and his gun stuck out so there's no reason why he couldn't look down the scope but you still aim at a cover or at a wall so I think I think that should go but obviously if they've come out and said it's intentional when Epic said say something's intentional such as stopping power it's not going to get changed, so I don't think we'll see any changes from that. Hopefully, you know, the mantle kit gets fixed. I think people need to kind of nag them a little bit to get that fixed. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about commentary-wise, um, those two playlists. Uh, and hopefully that cleared things up why I like Stay Frosty. Um, some of you may not like it. You may not just be in that mood, but one day you'll be in that mood and you'll be looking to just chill out and play that game mode. Uh, so again I'm going on a little tear. The next thing is uh, kind of a, a sort of response but it's not really a response it's just more me talking. Um, a big YouTuber put out a commentary a couple of days ago um, I'm not subscribed to him, I haven't been subscribed to him for a while and he basically said the only way 
The only way to get big on YouTube, and he used the word known, I don't like the word known. The only way to get known on YouTube is to make montages for Gears of War. And I was just wondering, do you think that's true? Um, because my, my personal preference is montages gain you interest, you know. I made those four or five montages on Gears of War 3, and it drove quite a few subscribers to my channel. Um, and then I started to do these Play Smarter series, and I'm the type of person that I'm not bothered about getting known on YouTube. I'm I'm not interested in all that. I still find it strange that people want to add me. Um, I find that really odd that somebody wants to add me to play a game. You know, I like it. It's cool that somebody wants to play. It. Sure, I'll go ahead and play with you, but it's that that concept is alien to me. And yeah. This this is why we're doing this. This is what this bitch gets. Um, she was talking shit to us the previous game. Uh, not the previous game, during the lobby. And, um, you know, we just decided to pistol her out. Because that's what you get. And kaboom! Smoke. So, yeah. That's that's why you don't use the sword off and send angry messages. So, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah. And he said basically montages were the only way to get known. I've said I don't really bothered about getting known. Um, I just think that you can do it the other way around. My channel doesn't really make montages anymore, and I've still gained about 800 subscribers since I've stopped posting montages. That's not a lot, but it's a lot for me. And for my channel, um, I'm not I'm not looking to have a million subscribers. No, maybe if we could get into the tens of thousands, that would be cool. But all I want to do is just give you guys tips and just um, just basically help you improve and show you that this game can be fun and you can do it in a, lots of different ways. Um, there's not a set there's not a set play style that you have to follow. My tips are basically just um, once you've once you've got the basics down you can go and explore the game further and you can create your own style because it's a long time since the game's been innovated in play style. Um, and with those tips you you may have the knowledge to go ahead and and innovate a strat and if you see a strat um, that, that's working for you and you want me to try out that strategy and make a video on it then I, then I will do and uh, that was a superman there not too sure it was a superman but hey ho I'll take it and I'm going 14 and 3 here the other guys going 11 and 4 with the sword off which depresses me no one should get 11 and 4 with the sword off should they I was telling them just to keep just say I was just saying you know keep your distance from him and he can't kill you but uh I think they were that pissed off that he kept killing them, that it was that sort of, I'm going to get you now, and they kept, they kept running into him, so, yeah, that's what kind of happened. Um, so, yeah, I was just thinking that, you know, you can do commentaries and improve. Um, it does take a hell of a lot longer, but I also think that people that ask for shout-outs that don't deserve it, you know, I've recently seen channels go from basically no subscribers to a constant 2,000 views and 2,000, um, yeah, a constant 2,000 views and a constant 200 likes. And uh, it does it does annoy me a little bit because some of the content that those channels produce aren't the greatest. Um, and I think it's only when you're in a sort of if you know, if you know lots of known people and you ask them regardless of the content they seem to help them out and a lot of the big channels say like you know I'll, I'll help you out I'll help the smaller channels out but they really only help out the friends it seems um, they always seem to have some connection to him it's never just a completely random guy I may be wrong but that's the way it seems um, but you know I'm not one to, to bitch or moan I like my channel and um, I've got 1,500 subscribers so I think I should be getting like a thousand views and a hundred likes um, Maybe I'm not producing the right content, or maybe the sub boxes fuck up. But yeah, it would be nice to get some more views and likes, but I'm not going to beat myself up over it. So I go 18 and 3, and I talked for a tremendously long amount of time. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. Um, those are my opinions on Stay Frosty and the game and the community in general. Um, so yeah, hopefully, you enjoyed them hit that like button because 18 kills in execution, not many people upload that sort of gameplay.